To keep our watersheds free of pollutants will require the actions of every citizen, community, and business. Paved concrete surfaces, asphalt, parking lots, sidewalks. The question is, do we need to have as many as we do? Because to the extent that you have too much impervious surface, the water is not retained on site. It doesn't soak into the ground. It runs off, picks up speed, carries pollutants and contaminants into the water body. One strategy for preventing stormwater runoff is occurring at the new Ford Rouge Center in Dearborn, Michigan. This remodeled truck plant is covered by a green roof the size of eight football fields. Planted with a porous ground cover, it reduces the amount of polluted runoff released into the watershed. The thing that tends to get the most attention is the 10-acre green roof, but that's really just part of a philosophy that if an area does not have to be paved or built upon, it's going to be green space. And communities are also implementing green space strategies, such as rain gardens. They sloped the lot in such a manner that all the flow goes towards this landscaping, where basically the polluted runoff can percolate into the ground and get filtered, um, rather than going straight onto the street into the storm drain system, and really a very simple approach to cleaning up our runoff in urban areas. But perhaps the most powerful course of action is individual participation. People need to take responsibility for the, the state of our waters, and water conservation is one area where they can do that as a committed citizen. All those things uh, your mom told you, take a short shower, don't let the water tap run while you're brushing your teeth. Taking your household hazardous waste to a cleanup and recycling day, don't wash your car on the, on the streets and put all those suds down into the drain. When you change your used motor oil, you don't dump it into the street. Everybody's got to clean up after their pets. Obviously, that's a big concern. Fertilizers, herbicides, pesticides, and make sure you don't use them any time there's any chance of rain coming up in the near future. When you're irrigating your lawn and your garden, make sure that you're not overspraying and causing all those chemicals to end up getting into the storm drain system. The only way we're going to solve the problem is if everybody does their part. We all live in a watershed. We all have an impact on our environment. And we must all play a role in the protection and restoration of our valuable water resources. To learn more about how you can get involved and to get a free brochure called After the Storm, visit epa.gov slash weather channel.